so let's go straight to what we have for you on trending of course stories are always trending every single time and um, we always have to just you know get some of the stories that are hot mm. at the moment and i think the one that caught my attention was the first one <laughs> was oip gave me advising people to stay yeah. at home because things are really really expensive and um, this is something i can't even identify and identify with it's crazy the cost of things everything is so expensive but even if you stay at home you can't make money so there's no point in you staying, staying at, at home, home because at the end of the day. <laughs> you'll be so broke and yeah, you'll probably but, just but a lot of people mm. are um i mean i think the anguish is coming from is just being careful like everyone has been saying because of the whole covid thing the new strain and all of that so i think what she's trying to say is if it's not ne needed or necessary stay at home because there's so many things you can get online now even your foodstuffs and all can actually be delivered at home um your tomatoes baskets of tomatoes all of those things can be delivered at home so really and truly if you want to talk about going to the market there's really no need because a lot, a lot of things are packaged it might be a little bit expensive or more pricey than the normal way but yeah and i mean a lot of people are falling ill now um let's be honest a lot of people are really sick i don't know if it's in the weather or if they are aa or something people are sick either having cough cutter flu cold i don't know what it is mm. that's in the air and some of them it's not covid okay you know so just be careful out there because the weather anyway apart from my own language you're saying that with the recent happenings in nigeria and of mm -hmm. course with the everyday geometric rise of foods and goods and services everything is so expensive but truth be told like we're talking about the cbn ban on forex mm -hmm. on not forex on um bureau change on and all that or even looking at the way the economy is set up and everything just seems to be soaring things that were you know certain amounts have gone up so even when you say people should stay at home it's going to be difficult except except you work remotely and if you work remotely you obviously any yeah you know any from just working at home and all of that there's only people who work from home that can actually make those sacrifices and yeah. be at home and they're not spending so much but for the average nigerian who has to go on the streets of hustle and that's how it makes his daily change it's just going to be almost the solution to be how we can try and get back to what it was before so that things will be so expensive because it is it's just once you and hold five thousand rising you can't hold five thousand again can't get anything and like tangible. let me hold five thousand and say okay today today yeah i'll hold i manage it for maybe three days i want to do it and say i want to do it for three <laughs> or four days it's not possible that five thousand <laughs> will, will <laughs> disappear <laughs> from your hands that five k will give you transport no, because on a really good day <laughs> let's be realistic you can actually spend one thousand i'm not trying to yeah like bougie on anything a, in here. a day one thousand one naira to buy fish you buy fish now you buy pepper you know yeah, and yeah, you can yeah. cook with one but now you can't even do that it's, i mean a thousand naira tomatoes and pepper now we even cook you a pot of soup stew that will last you it's it just finish, finished that day we'll finish that, that day. day so we'll not, nothing everything is just on the rise even kidnapping is on the rise yeah. they had a recent event of uh of entering cars and vehicles even our colleagues in the galleria have been affected so you have to also be careful for those that are also oh, going out yes, um one chance buses are now everywhere this period <laughs> uh, i don't know what the security um personnel are doing about this one chance is everywhere then elderly people are being um kidnapped mm. elderly people um i'm talking from personal experience like you you they think they're going to help to the junction they look like taxi drivers or what bus drivers wanna, what do they want and then they take you to a venue oh, no. and they'll say oh okay we need you to help us with this and you know elderly men are not very wise like yeah. they're not open to a lot of things so they will op withdraw their money and give you thinking that maybe Jeez. you you know they're so gullible and you know that's it your money is gone you've been robbed <laughs> It happened yeah, yeah, this this happened when on sunday and just opposite my church that this is what happened and then he of course yeah we know you are how your children how your grandchildren you know such things happen so we need to be very careful mm, don't yeah. think you know them even if they greet you and sound familiar i think they are not just, familiar you have to be careful. i was telling someone that if i could stay at home i just stay at home but it's not possible uh, just sit at home because everything is just you know really very soon we'll get to that point uh, that uh mr mo <laughs> <laughs> Just home that all day. day. <laughs> I was just saying, if you stay at home, you're going to, you would, you have to do the show. <laughs> do, do, you do, do the show, show via Skype or Zoom. You know, it's, and it'd be well, interesting. Of course, I was watching during the lockdown, I was watching some stations abroad. Yeah, they did that. Doing it. But of course, you have to, we don't have the equipment here. So I don't know where we're no, going. No, we do actually. 
we have we've been doing here. zooms and all well, of not that zoom it's not a zoom setup here it's something that is more to set up a home you don't have to set up a home whatever we want to do the tv project <laughs> no, no, when that time comes uh -huh. we will do the proper not, setup we'll prepare for it yeah because yeah yeah i don't know we will prepare i don't know because you see the cameras you need the lights you need yeah, like those at things. home and all of that for the individual how you presenters how you mean <laughs> It's true. Our network is not even. I think our major problem is the setup you're talking about is network. Yeah, it's network. That is always oh, yeah, hair. You need to. How will you transmit it? I'm just wondering oh. all the things. Oh boy. <laughs> it's, a it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. We need seven G. Anyone that just go home, you see four G. You be looking ah, like, you look like uh, E. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to go there, you know. So okay, that's it. Let's move on to our next story, and it's about Israel DMW because there was something he put up on Instagram about. About Kiari being a good guy, and then that's Prince, who is um, David O's man, um, lawyer, was saying mm. that he was going to be sacked, and now he's eliciting the public's help to beg David. I don't know if it's a publicity stunt, but it just seems to always just his mouth is big. Mm -hmm. Apparently, just seems to always, always run. He just talks his, Their mouth, his has, mouth. It has diarrhea. I don't understand. I just find out that he has that you running running mouth syndrome he just to stop your... <laughs> keep talking all the time yeah. and all of that i don't think he did those hacking no it's just maybe i mean but it, it depends on how david feels it's totally his decision um if you feel like you don't need such a person in He's your in your circle team. anymore mm. then even if the person is valuable because some people think that they're so valuable they are irreplaceable Mm. and you shouldn't even think that it's really when you are being paid mm. by somebody mm. or you are working under somebody you might feel you are so valuable you are irreplaceable and to just shock you you, like, are, you are gone they, they and you. if davido feels like it's time for him to go or maybe like, i don't want to say davido feels like if it's time for the you universe feels like it's time for you to go then it's time for you to go but i think that we should be careful especially when we he are working it. with a company we should mind what we say there are rules mm. you know there are employees um, ethics that you should follow especially when working even if it's an entertainment space or a you know label mm. or a structure a company or even a bank we should you follow know, rules the same thing happened during copy's time remember the copy yeah, time? he said yeah, a lot yeah, of things yeah, yeah, and of course that was just of course david was just saying please forgive us he was just kidding but i mean when you are work, working with someone i just feel that there's some things you should not say and mm. it just keeps going on and on and on and on and don't on. have to always try to be in the news uh, well i hope that um <coughs> david will apologize on and just take him back and maybe caution him every time he says we wish you luck that's what well, every time say. he says something negative maybe you're just suspending or something like that um, they'll give uh, him so a that, limit so that he'll stop saying it uh -huh. he uh, so when he gets to that point he can ask okay we'll start him and all of some that some people even when you fire them now that's when all the your secrets you, ah. they will, they will and, well you need to have trusted the members wide. on your team as like a it, brand yes. you know because if one person is the the judas iscariot it's going to be a big problem there is always a judas there's, iscariot yeah there's unfortunately. always unfortunately it's just the way life is there's always somebody that would spill or knowingly mm. or knowingly something something will happen that's that's true how so much choose your level of spillage you understand so people spill mm. terribly some and people. so people just you know a little bit okay let's move to the last journey story um ikira i will be preaching saying that drunk cards shall never make heaven and um i know that um at the end of the day everybody has a degree of um things that they do that is negative but when you judge people continuously and just condemn everyone oh my god they say who is without still letting me the first to cast, to, the cast stone. a stone you know so that's just my point of course yeah but <laughs> i don't even know how to feel about about that um maybe a mix of sentiments in that comment that mm. she made maybe she's had uh, of course personal experiences with people who have been really under the influence, influence of, of alcohol. alcohol but you see the thing another angle is when say in the inf under the influence of alcohol you have no control over yourself mm. and therefore you are tendencies of you doing the wrongest things happen high. and when you do that you've what indirectly or directly committed what is it we call it sin church mm. you've committed something really really wrong and it could be something that cannot be reversed at the end of the day so maybe that's she's looking at it from again, a deeper she's, she's looking at it from perspective of people that drink excessively and later they come and start soliciting for funds after they now fall sick mm. people who live certain lifestyles and later at the end of the day now come and start soliciting for the public to help them after they live a certain lifestyle but then again my own problem is with the condemnation you yeah the, totally condemn, judging judge and, people yeah. people have certain excesses we're not con we're not supporting the excesses i'm honestly but at the end of the day you who Maybe it's not drinking that is your own vice. You might be another thing that is yeah, your own vice. Be shouting. You know? But the general consensus should be people should live a moderate lifestyle. I mean, in terms of drinking, those are things that can 
that can mess with your with your system especially with a lot of young people who are falling ill at this point those things can so it's important to live a healthy lifestyle mm. cut down on drinking avoid it if you can but nobody you know that there's some people that are just, that just they are just minimal with some kind of grace that they drink and so much happens. and nothing well, happens and they still they are still strong they are living over a hundred years and doesn't you're mean it's right doesn't mean that because of course you may argue and say oh drinking is fine but of excessive drinking is everything in everything excess. is in, 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 in that's overboard is excessive yes, it's, it's, you know it's bad but in this case so i don't think it's just to pick one people and say they are, are all going to, we go are to going hell. to because even if it's in fire <laughs> <laughs> nobody, know. <laughs> nobody knows who and who yeah. all you know is that they are doing good and trying to live a i mean you don't even, are you sure of yourself that you're going uh -huh. to make it because so listen you think you think that it's good you are good enough i yeah, mean yeah. I, I didn't do anything wrong in your mind you didn't do anything some people's own may be drinking some people's own may be lying they just lie Lord. uncontrollably like people ah. just lie and they forget that they lie and they don't even know they that even they know lie that like lying. they just lie some people they all might be cheating mm. they just cheat anyhow and anyhow. you think it's okay it's normal <laughs> they just cheat some people it's it's you know they have certain vices that yes. they do so i mean that doesn't make any of it right but at the same time let's accommodate people and try to you can fix with people in love let's even try to stop mm -hmm. pointing fingers at um, the end of the, at the day. end of the day stop pointing fingers because you look within the kind you of flaws that have, you have you have to listen you won't even be you'll be shocked mm. at yourself when you look I mean, at yourself from another perspective love. what vices you do let's stop it let's because there's a higher way to do things than just condemn anybody to hell for you if but i want to ask which would you prefer i mean someone who drinks who likes women or who uh, who you already know my does. side that women but okay women so you can tolerate someone who drinks excessively no, I don't, I think they what's the third away. one again i can't remember excessive women, drinking is dr also you know they say problem. you either drink you this or you that there's you know when people are talking mm, there's always three options that money. They give. I can't remember. oh yes love of money woman and someone who loves and, money and that and, one is important now and uh, that money thing is perfect so money is okay God, you have plenty money oh boy if you love too much money you know what you can do for money <laughs> no no not in that sense but of course you love you need to love money so if you can't love money you will not have money because if you don't yeah. love money you will not be ginger to want to work for money yes something okay. has to be pushing you to want to love money well is that poverty you know, <laughs> no. or it has to be one thing or <laughs> that will push you to love, uh, money. love okay, money okay okay i don't know which i don't think i can stand any of the three there in excess drinking women or excessive love for money because that means that you might even be so stingy um when you love money you can't let it go that's the truth no, some, the, the 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 ease with which you let the money go will be very very you can't um, easily let and that's why you're not give or you know, help you know, guy so god please <laughs> balance the three because, <laughs> it's because like, no, balance one other two remove it, remove it. <laughs> we don't want <laughs> women <laughs> and uh, okay okay so that's what we're trending and of yeah. course you know how we roll on the show updates of mbj so what's going on literally because we've been talking about mbj and even we had um the beauty queens last week yeah. it was thursday was it thursday or it was wednesday yeah. it was either wednesday or thursday on the show we're talking about the experiences with mbj and anthony was here too so i mean we're preparing for calm i'm sure people are asking bj when is calm when is calm oh, yeah. you have become the official uh, <laughs> when so is, is the official uh, news breaker news but, breaker. i mean they well, will break the news when mm -hmm. camp um, opens i I'm, i won't i wouldn't do that right yeah. now mm -hmm. um but yes camp is certain to be nice. in september i'll just tell you that for free and a lot of the girls are preparing now i mean you know what the amount of work that they put into pageants these days you want to outshine the other person yes you might think oh i'm not in a competition but you want to stand out you want to probably win the best national costume or the best dinner wear or something or have that great body that is just perfect for the bikini you know so a lot of the girls are doing coaching here and there um if you go to their page you see that they are doing small 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 training um catwalk training and also when they get in camp they're like mm, i already know it i already know it. you know but in all i uh, want to just shout out to our sponsors um lush our partners Gilly, you know Gilly that Motos, yes Gilly Motos, Motos, lush, lush hair uh, studio 24 they've been amazing as you can see their pictures, the pictures are ready look, i can't recognize any of them because they all look like yeah they all look alike. the makeup yeah, and everything makeup you know they all but i think over time when the, the show starts you'll be able to tell who is Pick representing every one of them. which states so for now voting has started 
for those that want to vote you have to go to the website that's our mbgn website and the pictures are just there so once you click on the person you want mm. to vote it for it takes you to straight, straight to the voting so panel voting yes i, I think it's 50 yeah it's 15 naira per vote so vote away as many for as many people as you want and you know the way it works as well is if you're in another country you can vote because mm. it, it kind of like reads your ip address